Welcome back, everybody, to the continuation of our Let's Play of Space Exploration and Cross Destroyer 2. So, I've been preparing a little bit in the background. I have been preparing whatever we need to make over here in the Space Mall. I've tripled down the Space Mall. Um, main reason for that is we need to make all the machines that we need to make to make all the kinds of space science. And all the space science, um, all the science requirements are done. So we can make all of the space science parts if we want to. The only thing we still need to do is get some more of the requirements done. And one of the requirements, oh, the physical requirement, one of the physical requirements is to make the space science laboratory. Because I'm pretty sure that these things over here, yeah, these things over here cannot take in space science. So we could already make space science, but we could not use it. So we do have to make sure that we can make these buildings over here. And these over here are missing one critical component, which is lithium sulfur batteries. We're not making those. We're not making those anywhere. Which means we have to make them. Um, and we are going to be making them on Novice. In addition to that, there's a couple of other things we also still need to make. Uh, one of the things is fertilizer. We need fertilizer to make the neutron gel, which we then later on need to make um, other stuff. <clears throat> Um, but fertilizer is one of the things we also need. And there was a third one. Which was it? Which was it? Come on, brain. Tell me. Um, maybe I'll figure that out once I'm back on Office 3. There we go. Uh, what was the first thing that we need? It was the first thing missing. Mm. Oh, yeah. We do need to make biomass as well. <laughs> yes, that's the first thing. Um, let's jump over to our little blueprint section. And let's start blueprinting. Good, 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 good. Now, these builds over here, they will be fairly simple. Um, we don't really need to, to imagine too much into them. Especially if you take a look at things like... Where is it? <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, things like the lithium sulfur battery over here. Important? Yeah, we can use productivity modules, but lithium sulfur batteries are pretty straightforward. Copper, lithium, sulfuric acid... I think we already have a machine like this, but uh, we can just easily just... Oh, could you not do that, please? <laughs> we can just easily put them down like this and make a standard template. And our standard template, we already know this. Put the beacon in the middle over here, and we just take this whole thing, and voila. The most important part over here is, however, how much do we put in? Each machine over here requires one copper and one lithium every four. Currently... Four of these next to each other would consume one per second. They will be running at crafting speed two because we put speed three and productivity three modules in here. So they will be eating two of each per second. And then, of course, we also have the sulfuric acid going around. Let's maybe flip these around. We could maybe even do this. I think this might be better. Here we go. Here we go. Because then we can put like an input over here, an input over there. And then we only need to make a little bit of a creative belt feeding. But that will be easy. That will be easy. For now, let's go with red belt. Because we're going to assume... Um, we might be even to be able to pull it off with yellow belt. Oh yeah, yellow belt is fine. Yellow belt is fine. We might need faster belt. Uh, we can always upgrade the belt later on. If we think we need to upgrade it. And then we can weave like this. There we go. That's a very nice way of getting like two stack inserters next to each other. To feed in from the same line. On the same line, but 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 we'll have like two stack inserters feeding into the same machine with two different products. Good, 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 good. Lovely. Perfect. Then of course, uh we need well we need some power poles. Let's start with the power poles because last time I did the power poles late and then I noticed that I moved them all around. But we put them down like this. There we go. And then you get them over there. That should be fine. And then we connect up you and you. And you, we might need the connection to the top or might need the connection to the bottom. We will figure that out as we go. Then we definitely need some lamps. If we don't put down lamps, then then, then people will scream at me again. We're just perfectly fine. Uh, we can't place these. But we can place these. Yeah, let's, let's place them over there. Then it will be less dark over there. Good. Oh, that is mining productivity done. Can we do more mining productivity? I will gladly do more mining productivity. I mean, an increase of 10% more. I'll gladly take that. Good, 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 good. So, uh, how much do we push out then? Well, we make one, two per second over here. Actually, a little bit more than that. We get the productivity bonus of 25% on top of that. So, we make 2.5 per second over here. Um, We could think about putting it... Uh, I think we'll just go out single, single uh, belt. It'll be fine. So, this over here makes five and eats two 
four, six, eight. This more or less consumes a yellow belt of each and pushes out 10 of our batteries that we need. And you know what? I think that's fine. I think that's perfectly fine. Uh, we can just go like, yeah, use some blue ones over here. Blue one will be fine. Uh, we could be a little bit creative about it and do something stupid like this. And do something stupid like this. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We, we side load either way. There we go. And then you come over there. You come over there. And you over there. Good, 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 good. This is fine. This is perfectly fine. Uh, how many more do we need? Well, what do we need those batteries for? Let's have a look. Maybe maybe we see a high demand in the future. So we might make the facility bigger or smaller, depending on that. Usage. Mm, we need them for the anti-personal laser defense. We need them for the adaptive armors, science laboratory. The advanced tech cards require them. They do require like 0 0.5 per second if we do want to make this um, at a fast rate. Okay. Uh, the personal battery might need these over here. We never need them. Ooh, the, lead, the energy control unit needs them. Yeah, those things will be in high demand later on. Okay. Impulse rifle ammo. That is also always good to have. And then more, more laser defense. The magnetic canister needs one. The construction pylon needs a couple. Uh, or better say all the pylons need a couple. Tesla gun ammo. The shield projector. Oh, very good. And then, of course, we can burn them. Good. Well, then, if this is a yellow belt, uh, make that too. We can probably... Can, can, we, can, we, can, we, can we do this? No, we can do this. There we go. We might even want to... Nah, I think this is I think this is a fine placement. There we go. There we go. There we go. Good. And then we just start... Oh, not like that. <laughs> Definitely not like that. And then we just start um, doubling it down a couple of times. This is now one, two, three, four. So this over here will be four yellow bolts coming out and four yellow bolts coming in. Um, do we want more? Hmm. Now, technically, if we kill this, this is now a blue belt input of each in total. And a red belt out, technically. Hmm. We could do something. We can butterfly it. We could also not butterfly it and just do this. And then I think we have the thing we want to make. So it will just be a basic top-down machine. At the top, stuff comes in. At the bottom, other stuff comes out. And in the meantime, we will be happy and say, good, good, good. <laughs> sure, we can make this. This will make loads of these batteries. Now, later on, this machine will probably be picked up again and rebuilt, especially once we get to the advanced um, chemical plants. Where are they? And they're not too far away, but I was kind of hoping we could... I was kind of skipping on stuff until we get to this, but it seems we have to do this because we can't even get there without doing this. So the advanced chemical plant over here is just a better chemical plant. It comes with a basic crafting speed of 8, which will just completely knock this thing over here out of the park. But sure, this over here can be our thing for lithium batteries. Good. Then let's have another look at the Biolab. The Biolab is also a very interesting building. The Biolab only has one recipe. We need oxygen and we need petroleum gas and then we can make our own creep. This thing makes biomatter. The, the stuff that we pick up when we kill Bartonets, this stuff over here, we can make it ourselves. And the only thing we need is petroleum gas and oxygen. It is not very fast at it, that is true, but we do need it for a couple of things. For one, we need it for, where is it? Where's my chemical plant? There we go. We do need it for fertilizer. It's over here. Fertilizer is made out of biomatter and nitric acid. We do need one biomatter every five seconds. You over there, you make one biomatter every 12 seconds. Crafting speed is one. Yeah, and if we cheese crafting speeds over here, 2.2. We maybe, ooh, can we can we pull this off? Ooh. I need some power over here. Wait a minute, let's pick this up real quick. Let's go a little bit closer over here. Maybe we're lucky and maybe we can balance um, modules and beacons on top of each other in, in a good way so that this machine over here will be running a little bit better. Uh, now, for the beacons to see the effect in full form, we do need at least a little bit of power. So let's try something like this. I'm just going to place these things down like this just to see uh, how they will be affected. So you get, you get speed, you get speed, you get productivity, you make fertilizer, you make that. Your final crafting speed is 3.8. Your final crafting speed, of course, is 2. 
Uh, at a crafting speed of 2, you would need 1 biomatter every 2.5 seconds. At a crafting speed of 3.8, we could close our eyes and say it's 4. Um, if it's 4, you're, make, you're running at 20. 20 every 60, that is 1 every 3 seconds. And what do we say over here? We need 1 every 2.5. Ooh. Oh, we could stack this on top of each other. It's not really the best ratio. But it is a decent ratio. We can work with that. <coughs> now, biomatter is maybe also a thing that we need in space. Let's have a look at that. That is maybe also going to affect our decision over here. Usage. So one of the things, of course, is fertilizer. Very important. Fertilizer also has other um, uh, advantages. But for now, we need it for science. Uh, first aid kit, <laughs> if we ever need it. You need biomatter to make the bio lab. Uh, more med packs, the bio sludge over here. But I think there's better recipes for bio sludge. And the other one is the improved pollution filter. Yeah, we we are we are absolutely fucking the planet. Uh, yeah, we're not we're not we're not filtering out the pollution. Definitely not. <laughs> also, one more thing, we do need this for the biter research data. But I guess for the biter research data, we might just make a dedicated machine just. Just makes biomatter for biter research data. And biter research data is basically military tech. So we just needed. We only need it for the fertilizer. And to complete the cycle, fertilizer, you need it for the best wood recipe, if we ever want to do that. And we need it for the nutrient gel. And that is pretty much it. Good. So we could do this. This looks good. It's it's not really optimal, but we can at least somehow make this. We could try to stack these on top of each other. Um, and then maybe do this, maybe do that. That could work. That could definitely work. It looks a bit weird, but this could work. Um, and then we just do something like here. Output over there, output over there. And off you go. And then it's just a bit of a bit of a piping hazard. Um, but we could do something like this. We could do something like that. And then we could do something like this and something like that and then put this in the middle and you know what why not uh oxygen over here we can either connect it over here or over here i think we might just connect it over here we could also think about putting the oxygen machine in here straight away Ooh, wait a minute oxygen machine stay over there Oop. oh they do fit <laughs> no we need pipes over here but they do fit um how much oxygen do we need then uh, we need about, well, if we are running at crafting speed, let's say 4, we do need 200 oxygen every 60 seconds. That is about 3.33333 oxygen per second. Uh, and one of these atmospheric condensers, if we can find a recipe in here. Is the recipe in here? Oxygen? No, of course it's not. Let's pick up an, uh, uh, one of those condensers real quick. We might also want to see how they are affected by the beacon. And how fast the machine will be. Uh, and they should be... There they are. Yeah, give me those. And that's fine, Black. Good, 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 good. And here we are. So, atmospheric condenser. There they are. They already have a natural crafting speed of 1.5. If we put in speed modules, we get a crafting speed of 5.1, which is pretty fast. Which also means that we are going to be making... Three hundred. We're making thirty per second at the normal speed, uh, at a crafting speed of five point one, or let's just assume it's five. We make a hundred and fifty per second. And how much do we need? Not a lot. <laughs> we don't need a lot. Um, Two hundred three point three 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 per second. Uh, you make. Yeah, one of these. One of these on its own makes forty five per second. Um, that is enough to supply 15 of these. Yeah, this 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 just really doesn't require to be part of, of this blueprint over here. Uh, we can just make a machine on the side or something like that, and it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Good. And the more I think about this, the more I like it. So, let's go like this then. And, yeah, let's definitely, absolutely put the oxygen pipe over here. It makes sense. It does not make sense, because then we have one big issue. Never mind, we have space for that. Do we have space for that? 
we have space over here, but not space over there. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Because it's slightly offset. We do... We can't place an insert over here. We can't place one over there. Um, now, then, then we're going to move it over there. We got we got more than enough space. We, we don't need to make it super duper tight. So, super duper tight. It's always fun. But, nah, this will be fine. This will be fine. And then we do the same thing over there. And then input this, input that, input this, input that. And there we go. So, how much fertilizer are we making again? We do make five fertilizer per 10. At the craft speed of two, we make 10 per 10. So we make one per second, and then of course twenty five percent on top. We make one point two five um, fertilizer per second per machine. So that is two point five. That is five. That is ten. That is twenty, and that is thirty. Let's make a quick check. It is thirty two times. One and a quarter. Um, yeah, that's about right. That's about right. That should... Wait, what? <laughs> Excuse me. 1.5, 5, 1.25, 2.5, 5, 5, 10, 20, 30, 40. There we go. We make 40 over here now. Uh, that's almost a blue belt. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Also, do we have a bit of a weird... Oh, we do. <laughs> One moment, please. <laughs> Let's make sure that this is aligned, else, else people will be screaming at me again. There we go, there we go, there we go. <laughs> now it's a little bit less off-center. Good, good, good. Now these machines over here, they do transfer the petroleum gas between each other. Or you could build it like this and then they transfer the oxygen next to each other. But let's do it like this. We got... How many is that? 16 of these in a row. 16 times 3.333, that is 32, that is 48, um, which means we do need a bit more of a bang over here. Then again, if we if we just put some speed modules on this thing and take this thing out, it will be fast enough. <laughs> it will be fast enough. So we can place you over there, and we can place you over there, and you just blow oxygen in there, you blow oxygen in there. And then we have the massive build over here. Perfect. Uh, oh, <laughs> God dang it. Uh, we, are, we forgot about these. Um, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, let's put these really in real quick. There we go. We also kind of forgot about power poles again. I'm, I'm very good at that, it seems. Just forgetting about power poles. Also made a terrible, terrible copy paste, I just noticed. Which is even worse. Um, here we go. Well, we just go back again with this one. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, don't press shift while I'll do that. I'm, I'm usually always pressing shift when I click this because there's usually something in the way I want to build over. Here we go. Good. So now all of these are connected as well. One big question, of course, is how much of the nitric acid do we need? We need like one per second, two per second in total at the crop speed of two. Uh, yeah, we will not have any kind of pipe issues over here. Uh, absolutely not. Here we go. Here we go. One thing we should think about is this is 5, this is 10, this is 15, which means from this point on it's a red belt. And then this is 5, this is 10, this is 15, which means from this point on it needs to be a yellow belt. And technically, just to complete it, there we go. Now it's 45. <laughs> and now we're full. Full, full, full. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So that makes a full blue belt of fertilizer whenever we need it. Non-stop fertilizer. Uh, we could double it down. We might as well double it down. Do we have a petroleum gas train? I never noticed. I never thought about it. Um, no. Well, we have this very small one over here. Then again, he might be enough. He might be enough. We don't really need a lot of petroleum gas. How much petroleum gas do we need? Um, the same amount as the oxygen. So... Actually, not a lot. We could keep using the small one over here. I do have to check up how this one over here is set up because I'm pretty sure that this one over here is only getting like overflows every now and then. Uh, we can check real quick. You get your petroleum gas from over here. You get it from over there. Oh, you do get it from the top somewhere. Yeah, there's a beacon over there. You do get it from the main canister over here. So never mind. You will always, always, always have petroleum gas for us. We could just use the little one-two train. 
I mean, why not? Why not? We, we don't need a super massive long train for the petroleum gas over here. We might just use a little train over there. Uh, good, good, good. Sure. Anything else we need? Nope. That's all we need. Just some so, so for, um, so Peter assets. It's called some Peter? What's it called again? Nitric acid, not some Peter. <laughs> Sorry. Had my assets confused. Good. And we're definitely going to make two of these. But here we go. Again, forgot about it. The power poles. Hmm. Where do we place them? Ah, that's too bad. That's too bad. Uh, no. Uh, still no. <laughs> it doesn't matter how often I try. It's it's still a no. Um, hmm. I guess we just use substations then. There we go. Uh, I was kind of hoping we could not use substations, but that's just me thinking about not having to use substations. Mm, yeah, we place them here in the corner. There we go. Then we hit almost everything. The only thing we don't heat, hit, heat, hit uh, is that one atmospheric condenser in the corner. But we can just either give it its own power pole or something like that. It should be fine. And also very important, <laughs> the lamps. Of course, the lamps. Mm. Yeah, let's place lamps over here where these outputs are. There we go. And then we can just do it like this. That sounds a bit sus. Oh, I see why. Because that's a different belt. Um, nah, we make a blueprint. Take out the belt. Take out the pipe. Take out everything here. Yeah. Don't put anything in there. Only put the lamps and the machines. There we go. Oh, like that. <laughs> That's too many laps. <laughs> okay, we need some other kind of uh, middle point. Let's try this one more time. Uh, take out everything. Except the beacons, the lamps, and the machines. There we go. And now we have something where we can grasp onto. There we go. There we go. Good. And that should be good for lamps. Excellent. And then we're going to make two of these. So we're going to copy over again. The whole thing. Oop. And just press them next to each other like this. There we go. And that should be fine. And then we can even do this. And look at that. That will connect up nicely. Good, 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 good. There we go. And then you over there. You over there. Oh, we don't have anyone in the end? Well, that should be fine. That should be fine. Mm, and we can even copy-paste this whole thing over like this. Well, I didn't even copy over the parapoles. Good on me. Mm, here we go. And now everything has power. Good! So, that will be making the fertilizer that we need. So, we got the batteries, we got the fertilizer... And we don't really need the biomass in space, so that should be fine as well. And I think we got everything now. Good. I'll be making these on the side, uh, in the background. Uh, I will find some places over here. It will be somewhere. It will be somewhere. You, you'll see next time where they are. And then I think after that, once we got enough materials in space, we can start thinking about building whatever we need over here in space. Uh, let's have a quick look over here before we go. Uh, we do have, like, a couple of these astro um, astrometric facilities. Good. We got a couple of telescopes, uh, a couple of radiation machines, a couple of electromagnetic machines, one research server. <laughs> that would be fine, I guess. Um, a couple laser facilities, one particle accelerator. Okay, I see how they stack. So let's maybe do this. Um, and then a couple of hypercoolers. That should be fine. Do they all stack up to 15? Oh, they do stack up to 15. Okay, interesting. Uh, we probably still need some more materials in space. We also should hopefully make one of these. You're missing glass. You are ordering glass. And you're missing LDS. You are ordering LDS. So you just got unlucky, I guess. Good. And maybe have a quick peek at the rocket to see if the rocket is ready to go. Good. Yes, the rocket. The rocket's over there. I'm stuck. 
<laughs> and landed inside the rocket silo. Yeah, you're still waiting with LDS. And LDS, I think we might need to think about LDS a bit. Uh, we're making LDS over here. And I think we're not only making it over here. We, we, we could just expand the mall to make more LDS. We could just reserve all of this over here for more LDS production. Um, I don't think it's a copper plate issue. I don't think it's a seal plate issue. I think it's just a we're not making enough LDS issue. So let's double down on that as well. Good, good, good. LDS over here. Let's just... Can we get... Yeah, you. Perfect. And then we go all the way over here. And we're going to just reserve. Oops. There we go. All of you make more LDS. Each gets the speed module. And the rest will be prop modules. That's actually a very nice way of doing it because you get still 24% uh, productivity bonus. And they now run at a crafting speed of 1, which is fine. Which is perfectly fine. Do we need more LDS? I guess so. <laughs> LDS is a thing we do need quite a bit of. Let's add two more rows and really go ham on it. There we go, there we go, and then one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Good, 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 good. And now we make even more LDS. Perfect, that should be fine. And I think that will also be it for today. If you do like what you see, please do leave a like, a follow, a comment, a subscription. Every one of those actions does help me out in growing this YouTube channel to something bloody amazing. You can also find me on twitch.tv slash boltviking, where we do even more Factorio. Uh, we also do some Pyanodons over there. Currently, we're playing um, Rimworld. Valheim is going to be in the roster again. Dwarf Fortress, we had a lot of fun with Dwarf Fortress, but it, the interface is still kind of clunky. Uh, but I'm warming up to it. <laughs> and, of course, Rimworld. And without further ado, I wish you all an amazing evening. And until next time, see you around!